Hey everyone, it's Earth Collectors here. We are doing a hunt for Julio Rodriguez and Wander Franco. Uh, we are looking for their rookie cards out of these products. So Top Stadium Club Chrome, Tops Update, and Tops Chrome. So Tops Chrome, of course, has Wander in it as he is on the front. Um, and then uh, there's Wander Franco um, update, um, rookie debut cards in. Uh, the update, uh, and then I think both are in Stadium Club Chrome. So let's get into it, uh, see what we can find out of these. Let's open up the update blaster first. This stuff uh, is, of course, one of the best products of the year. Before we open this up, let's hit that like button. So if you haven't yet already, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing a giveaway here soon. And I think we are gonna be giving away, although it's not official yet, but something pretty good. And if you see this box right here, maybe one of these. Um, anyway, so we're trying to get to 25,000 subscribers. So if you haven't yet already, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. Then you'll be notified as to when we post a new video. So definitely do that. Let's see if we can pull a monster out of here. Luke pulled a gold out of a box that I gave him. So good for Luke. Uh, but <laughs> let's see if we can duplicate that or something better. He pulled a gold Julio uh, Rodriguez um, numbered to 2022. So nothing too special in this first pack of Freddie Freeman. I found some of these blasters just last week at a Walmart. So that was a pretty good pickup. I wasn't expecting anything. Uh, that Walmart never has anything and I hardly ever go there because it's far away. But whenever I've gone there, um, it always is wiped out. This time it was just loaded and they actually had a bunch of um, update blaster boxes. No hangers, but we do have an orange here. I could, oh no, red. Uh, it's not a rookie, but it is going to be an Andrew Kisner um, or Kisner. Uh, that is a color match, and this is going to be numbered to 199. So, all right, take that. Uh, not bad. And then a McKenzie Gore. And then the Chrome Jonathan India. So, all right. Too bad that was not a um, better name player, the red, but still pretty good. These blasters are actually quite good. Um, hard to pull. Some of the, there's a Hunter Green, uh, you know, some of the big, bigger cards out of there, but you can definitely pull monsters out of blasters. So don't, you know, think it's only out of hangers. I've definitely seen some really big cards get pulled out of blaster boxes if you find them. All right, still looking for a base card of either a Wander or Julio. Wander is starting off the season red hot. Um, they beat the Red Sox last night, uh, whomped them pretty good, uh, and Wander played uh, well, or has been playing well. Here's a Cedric Mullen. This is the um, relic card that you get out of these, and then a nice black gold of Tatis and then Joe Musgrove All-Star Game and then the Kyle Tucker stars the MLB. All right, let's just make sure I didn't skip over anything here. I don't think I did. Um, but there's a oh, I just see the Hunter Green there. Sometimes you get into these videos and you pass over things very easily, especially when you're distracted by shiny things in the background. All right, just making sure I didn't miss anything. Um, yeah, so Julio's playing uh, quite well uh, for the Mariners. The Mariners, there's a Bobby Witt. Mariners are struggling uh, offensively, uh, but last night they had a big offensive game. We turned that game on. We're watching the Cubs and the Mariners, and that was crazy. Uh, Jose Miranda, Chapman, and then Tim Anderson. So, yeah, that was a super high-scoring game. Almost looked like a low-scoring football game. Uh, for a baseball game, it was bo both. I think I don't know if the Mariners got to ten, but it was it was quite high scoring. Uh, they uh, Mariners did lose that game, but uh, Kletic played really well in that game. Uh, Julio, I don't think did anything too crazy in that one. All right, so last pack of this update blaster. All in all, so far it's been you know okay. Um, definitely nice to hit a colored card, but you were looking to hit. 
one of the top rookies, which of course is quite difficult. Royce Lewis and Pujols, Miranda, I don't see a single Wander or a single Julio there. Let's open up, let's go to Chrome. Chrome, 2022 Chrome. Now you can pull some really nice cards out of here. Of course there's the sepias and pinks out of these blasters. I think you can still find these blasters pretty much anywhere for about 35 bucks. But they are missing, of course, uh, the short printed Julio's Wits, Torkelson's, um, and I think, what was it, Hunter Green and CJ Abrams out of there. So uh, you're not going to be getting anything of that nature out of retail. Um, yeah, which is too bad. Too bad that they um, screwed that up pretty royally, Tops did. But let's see if we can pull a nice card out of here. That's a nice looking. Um, classics, Ronald Acuna Jr., uh, Bo Bichette, and our first sepia is a Raphael Devers. So he is having a pretty good start to the 2023 season. Let's see what we can get out of the next pack. And if we can pull any autographs, you can get the green autographs. You also get numbered cards out of uh, uh, Topps Chrome blaster boxes so there's a brandon marsh he's actually having a good season for the phillies um look at the stat lines pretty much every day trying to box score stat lines trying to see how these guys are performing um doesn't always translate into instant uh, increase in prices for cards but it is nice to see some of these guys doing well there's a harrison bader a pink Still no Julio, or sorry, still no Wander Franco. Wander is in the set, and you could pull a monster Wander out of a Chrome Blaster box. Here's a Refractor, Max Muncie, and Chris Terry. So get a lot of packs out of these Blasters, which is fun. Um, and the Sepias and Pinks are always fun to pull. I have pulled a couple autographs out of Blaster boxes. And our sepia is Castro. So rookie card, but not the rookie we're looking for. Let me know in the comments below. Have you opened up some Topps Chrome lately? And what did you pull out of your blasters if you've opened up blasters? Of course, they didn't have um, the cello packs or anything like that this year. Just blasters and mega boxes. There's a Riddell uh, or Raphael or uh, Castro. Sorry, uh, Rodolfo Castro. All right, let's see. Next pack here. See so if we can get anything a little bit better than that. Oh, we do have our Prism card. Those are about one per blaster, I believe. And Garcia. There's a Goldschmidt. Too bad the buyback program's over. That would have been a $20 bill. There's a Pete Alonzo Prism. And Trevor Story. And a Zach Thompson. Pink. All right, last pack. Yeah, that was pretty cool when they did when they announced that buyback program. Uh, of Aaron Judge and Goldschmidt. That was definitely uh, something that kind of redeemed the set a little bit. Uh, let's see what we have here. There's a nice Matt Olson. Um, these are, uh, I can't remember the name of them, um, uh, but they're, they're one of the nicer uh, inserts out of that set. Um, Refractor, Ryu, and Cole Calhoun. All right, so... That box was nothing special. Let's open up this Chrome and then, or t Chrome, st st yeah, blah, I can't even talk now. It's not just Chrome, it's Stadium Club Chrome. 2022 Stadium Club Chrome. Uh, these are pretty good overall. You don't get a lot of packs. You do get um, seven cards in each pack. I believe it's 28 cards per blaster. Um, and there's some sneaky good stuff in here, including autographs to be had on-card autographs, which is nice. And let's see if this will be our first pull of one of the two rookies we're seeking. So far, it's been fairly lackluster, but hey, what can you expect? Who is this? Oh, nice. Jeremy Pena X-Fractor. I'll take that. That's not bad. And a Mookie Betts Beam Team, followed by Andrew Heaney, Ryan Sandberg, and Mike Piazza. So not bad there. Next box or pack out of the box. Let's see if we get anybody that we're seeking. Mariana Rivera and Kevin Gosman 
and then a rookie uh, refractor of Hazley. There's a Daryl Strawberry. I don't think I've pulled that one yet out of Chrome. And a Josiah Gray. All right. Nothing thick here. You can usually tell the autographs, number cards by their thicker stock. A Trey Mancini, Sandy Alcantara, Ty France, and a Bobby Dahlback um, X Fractor. Followed by Jonathan India. And then we have a George Springer and a Hunter Renfro. All right. Last pack of this blaster. Still searching for some of the big name rookies. Maybe this is the pack. Jim Abbott and a Bo Bichette X Fractor. And then we have a nice Trophy Hunters. Trey Turner, Freddie Peralta, Barry Larkin, and Jim Carlos Stanton. All right, so, so far we're shut out, but let's not lose hope. We have one last box, a hanger box of 2022 Tops Update. Thanks again for watching, guys. Please hit that like button if you haven't yet already. Comment below. Let me know what you think of a rookie hunt like this where we're trying to find some of the top rookies. Do you like these videos? Um, are you a fan of them? Obviously, the release week this week is very slow for baseball, so we got to mix it up a little bit in our videos, do some kind of like little mixer videos like this, um, and maybe we'll do some more Stadium Club Chrome here uh, as well. I think I got some another hobby box coming in that I might open up on the channel. Got one of those big uh, collector's boxes that I got from Target, so I'd like to open up that. That's Series 1. That'll be kind of fun. Um, to do one of those again. Uh, that was a, a video that got a lot of views. Uh, people are interested to see what was in that. So thanks for watching that video. And thanks for watching this video. Appreciate everybody, subscribers, and just regular content viewers. Thank you for watching. All right, let's see what we get out of this. Here we have a gold. It's a rookie gold, but I think it's a pitcher. Yeah. All right. So... Not the rookie gold we're looking for, um, and actually not a pitcher, um, but it did look like a Oh, right behind that. Look at that. I didn't even see it. I'm looking at this, and hangers are bangers. We did get a Jacob Brent um, uh, on-card auto right behind there. So as I'm looking at the card, I just thought that was going to be 1987. Didn't realize that was a... Uh, nice on-card autograph, and then MJ Melendez rainbow foil, so that's not bad. Um, pretty darn good hanger. Hangers are amazing. That's why they have the reputation that they do. And, of course, this year, hanger boxes, not all that great compared to update hangers. Hangers are indeed incredible. I mean, we got an autograph. Autographs are pretty tough pulls out of hangers. There's a Torkelson. Ah, uh, wrong Mariner there. I think we're going to get shut out of all. There's a Quan. Quan's having a good season. Uh, of our guys that we're looking for, Stott and Marsh, Bautista, and Olsen. So, none of the guys we we're looking for in there, but hey, we gave it a try. Um, definitely pretty fun break overall. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Leave a comment below. What was your favorite card out of there, out of the out of these packs that we pulled? Uh, we pulled that nice red out of the uh, blaster. Then we did pull um, a nice Jeremy Pena X Fractor, um, and we have the autograph, uh, this gold, and then the rainbow foil there. Some of the highlights, um, nothing, and then the Boba Shot, Bobby Dalback. So. That was kind of the highlights of the break. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy watching baseball. And if you have nice weather like we do here at this time, uh, enjoy the outdoors. All right, guys. Take care. Have fun collecting. We will see you in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.